Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride and today we are here at the All Ford Power Car Show in Apple Valley on this gorgeous day, finally uh, having a car show um, after last year and we're here with Mark and Mark, uh, tell us what you have right here behind us. I have a 1964 Ford uh, Fairway 500 Ranch Wagon. Wow, now that's a mouthful. <laughs> so we're actually starting in the back here because uh, it, it's it's a station wagon. Yes. And it, it, and older station wagons always had a third row built in. So Mark was kind enough to crawl in there and open it up. Now it normally would have cushions, Correct. which you can't find anymore. Right. Uh, but that actually folds down into the opening in the floor that you see and makes a flat bed. Wow, that's a that's a huge. I mean, if that was sitting flat, that's a huge storage area. I've used this to haul two by fours and lumber. It's, and you can close a date, I bet. Well, I can put that damn seat down, and I've got you know lumber hanging out to here. I can haul ten footers. So, man, I I believe it. Yeah, that's just it's a long it's a long <laughs> car. I noticed um, you've got uh, steps on yep. the bumper. Mm -hmm. And that would have been to get at a roof rack if you had one? I'm thinking so. Or to or climb to up climb here. In. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, what was your interest in, in getting this particular wagon? Why, why this? Why not a Mustang? Because I happen to be a little different than the people who have Mustangs, maybe. <laughs> and and um, the Fairlane was a body style that really appear, appealed to me. Plus, I also like wagons, and I just saw this and said I had to have it, and I buy what I like, and that's what I do. So, so did you have one of these as a kid, your parents? My parents had a Galaxy. Okay. Uh, very similar, a uh, larger model, a 65, not a 64. Okay. And um, the body style is, is not what I liked at, the, at this time, okay. so I like the 64 all right i like the way they look so that's what i wanted and that's what i and that's, bought and that's what you got now uh when you you actually bid for this on the phone sight on scene yes yeah an auction in oklahoma city eight years ago in february and um, it was kind of tense because i saw this come up for sale and i had about a week to get my letter in that I was good for the money and become authorized to bid and uh, there's a lot of other little details anybody who's ever done an auction uh -huh. knows about. Um, so I, I did win the bid. Uh, I was past my limit but it cost me more than I was willing to spend at the time but I got the car. And <coughs> I didn't hear anything from the auctioneers for a day and then on Sunday morning I'm taking a shower and I come downstairs and my wife says your phone's blowing up so I start checking and it's the auctioneer people and they're telling me I have to have the car off the uh, fairgrounds in Oklahoma City by five o'clock that afternoon <laughs> All right, you can't leave cars there. My original idea was, okay, fine, I'll just take the truck and a trailer and go get it and yeah. bring it back. That didn't work out. And so I had to hustle to find a, a car hauler. Yeah. And uh, I was lucky it wasn't cheap, but the car did finally get to Minnesota. So <laughs> what, a, what a story. Um, can we uh, close the tailgate here for a minute? Because there's another feature out here that's really neat so you can open and because this is the, um, the, the this particular model you can actually raise the window electronically right you know I can hold your mic if that's easier the other the cheaper models did not have oh look at that what a great feature yeah, you can do it from inside too can you do it from the front yeah Sheesh. A, this, this, this was a luxury mobile. It's comfortable. I, I bet it is. Being this long? Yeah. Now, in the back here, I'm assuming those little that little handle in the uh, 
fender is just a, okay. There may be one in there. I'm so that's sure. so that's a cover. Yeah. And there's probably well, it may be the original spare. No, it's not. No, it's not. I bought it at a swap meet. Okay. <laughs> but you it have a spare it, there. It'll fit. All right. It'll fit. It's not the right size, but it'll fit. It'll fit in there. Now I just need to get a jack. Those are hard to find. If you want, if you want an original one. I have AAA. I have. A yeah. There you go. Oven. There you go. That, that's what those are for. All right. Well, we'll close this up. We're going to take a, a walk up towards the second row here. If we can open the door, is that okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. I, I love I love the, the all the the chrome work and the like and the paint. Sixty four. Just beautiful. Just, yeah. Okay. So um, you had, of course, your uh, your handle for the door and then your window. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I love the steel top. Yeah. And no you know no room at all to rest your hand. You'd have to roll down your uh, window to rest your arm up right. there. And it was hot. But the boy, whoever had this redone, because this was done this way you bought it, it really did a beautiful job. I mean, you know, you've got you would not have had the speakers in there originally. No. Uh -huh. But the but the interior is just so nice. Now this folds up, right? Yes. It'll okay. Fold forward. And plenty of room. I mean, some comfortable comfortable seating back there, or you can sleep. <laughs> well. that's, that's 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 a large seat. We thought about getting a, a rubber cushion and putting that seat down. My wife and I were just going to travel with it like that, but yeah, not anymore. Not we just get get to get a hotel. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, and then on the front here. All right, so it would have originally had a color matching steering wheel. I think you, so. You think so. Okay, and then I think uh, I'm not positive. Is is this the actual air conditioner that came with the vehicle? Yes. Okay. And it was probably a dealer add-on. Yeah, it's got the, I can see the Ford marking in the middle. Uh, and then you basically have you got fan, fan speed and temperature. Temperature, yep. Okay. And then you replace the radio. So you obviously this is the car you drive. Right. So you want to be comfortable. And then the gauges look, oh man. Okay, so those, those have maybe I been replaced. So. I think so. Because I don't know if they would have had red lettering. No. I don't remember. I think they, they were, had red I lettering. They were replaced to match the interior. Of the car, okay. So. I love the the glass gear selector indicator. Maybe it's plastic, but it is. Um, ah, it's just really and the half the half rim horn. Absolutely love that. Now this would have been your turn signals up here. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then this was a shift on the column. Mm -hmm. So how many how many gears did you have? Three. Three. Okay. So automatic. C4, cruisomatic. Okay. Wow. Oh, uh, you, you, and you've got the the Fairlane floor mats in there yet? Yep. Wow. Oh man. Didn't come with those. I bought those. Yeah, but you found those and oh. bought added them. Oh yeah. That's, isn't that the yeah. fun part about a car? It doesn't come with everything. And you get to add things as you go. Yes. Kind of like having mm -hmm. that toy collection, and you <laughs> you keep adding to it. Okay, so uh, up here, you know, you got the the 289 badging. Is that what it has under the hood? It is a uh, 30 over 302. Oh. Okay. All right. So, so uh, 30 over board, 30 over. So. All right. So let's uh, open this up and take a look at that beautiful engine. Okay, so tell us, uh, and you did all this yourself. Yes. Okay, so you, so what happened? Uh, tell us, tell us what happened because you had the car stored for a little bit. Right. Your the, son came up to visit. You took the car out. What happened? Uh, the car got delivered in the winter. There was too much snow and ice on the roads to drive, and it got to be April. It was the first time that uh, I started it up since it was delivered, and I backed it out. And under the car was nothing but fluids. Oh, oil, no. transmission, oh. radiator, okay, all of it, a lot of it, and that was with the original motor. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, started uh, patching leaks, so to speak. Okay. Did as much of that as I could, and uh, when I drove the car that next summer, I couldn't keep the back window down because it was burning oil so bad that the smoke was coming oh. inside. Oh. All right. That's bad. So started looking for a replacement block and heads. These are uh, GT40P heads. Okay. So it's 
got some get up and go to it on uh, top of a 30 over 302. So. so about how much horsepower do you think you're you're putting out roughly? Maybe uh, 300. 300? Yeah. Okay. A little more than the than the original engine would have put out. Yes, probably that was around 200 yep. or 225 yep. somewhere in there. So. The uh, I mean that's uh, kudos to you for being able to do all that work, man. Not not everyone could take a engine apart and out and put a new one in. So yep. that was and I, was the engine new when you bought it? This one? No. No. Yeah, you, you got it. Found it as a used it's, one. Yeah, it's an '81 block. Okay. So yeah. Crankshaft and rods and new pistons, right? And rings, that kind of stuff. Had it honed. So now on the uh, on the inside here, I noticed that when you had it out, you must have repainted the engine bay. I did. I cleaned it up. That looks really nice. There's a story behind that. Too. Okay. So two years ago, I went to uh, St. Louis for a car show. Okay. And on the way back, I was halfway through Iowa, and I stopped to get gas. And uh, went in to pay and get something to drink, came back out, and some guy pulls up next to me and says, Hey, that's a nice car. Thanks. He goes, You're leaking antifreeze. I go, What? Yeah, I get out and I look, and sure enough, it, antifreeze is running down everywhere. Oh. So the water pump went out. And uh, there was a car dealer right across the road, so I pulled in there to see if they could help me out. They couldn't get the part for two days. So this mechanic says, you know what? We'll just fill up all the jugs we got here with water. You don't put your cap on tight. You should be able to make it back. <laughs> We're driving 220 miles with a water oh, no. pump leaking. <laughs> it was pretty messy. I bet. But you made it. I made it. Oh, I was just, that was terrifying. Rack. I just like, ah. Yeah. By the time I got close to the house, my air cleaner was so full of fluids I couldn't hardly keep the car running. Right. So, but, oh man! So it got cleaned up again, real well. <laughs> real well. I, I I like the I like the painted uh, uh, braces. Braces yeah. up there. Yeah, those, that's a nice combination. Now it would have been it, it was a it was twelve volt when it yeah. was produced, so that yeah. part was there. Originally, it was an alternator. This has been converted over to a generator. generator. Yeah. Okay. And you did that? No, it came that oh, way. Oh, it came that way. Okay. I did replace the alternator, though. Okay. Well, Mark, thank you so much for taking your time uh, to share this beautiful uh, for, uh, Fairlane with us and the story behind it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>